Finally, 441 days after the CDC implemented a federal mask mandate for public transportation, a federal judge has struck down the stupid rule which was set to expire yesterday before the bureaucrats decided to extend it for another two weeks. Two weeks, where have we heard that one before? District Court Judge Catherine Kimball Mizell ruled that the extended mandate, quote, exceeded the CDC's statutory authority, improperly invoked the good cause exception to notice and comment rulemaking, and failed to adequately explain its decisions. I actually got a text from a friend of mine when this came out. He was 30,000 feet traveling on a flight, and he said, wow, you're not going to believe it. The captain just came over the loudspeaker and said that the mask rule is no longer in effect, and almost everyone took their masks off. Other people got videos of this happening on flights around the country. Take a listen. The Biden administration announced that the Transportation Security Administration will no longer enforce the federal mandate requiring masks in all U.S. airports and onboard aircraft. Uh, effective immediately, immediately, masks are optional for all airport employees, crew members, and customers inside U.S. airports and onboard aircraft. Effective immediately. And everybody is very, very excited about this because this judge found that the good clause exception did not hold here. The good clause exception is a provision of the Administrative Procedures Act that allows D.C. bureaucrats to break the rules for rulemaking when compliance would be, quote, impracticable, unnecessary, or contrary to the public interest. So if an emergency required an agency to act with haste, it would be permitted to cut corners. But we're more than a year and a half into this nonsense. If there ever was an emergency that permitted this kind of power grab, we are certainly long past it. This is great news. As you can see, the people are so excited there in that video on the flight. I've got a flight on Thursday to Boston. I'm giving a speech at Boston University. I look forward to testing the rule. Perhaps I can become the Rosa Parks of airplane muzzles. But the ruling is bittersweet. If all those people on that airplane were so happy to take the mask off, as we know that they are, as we know that we all were when we were flying around and taking public transportation, why didn't we just all do it? Why did it take 441 days? It, this is a bittersweet moment because it shows us just how far our country has fallen. It shows us just how much the ruling class, our crooked ruling class, has taken from us. We are 109 weeks into two weeks to slow the spread, and we're celebrating that our rulers might now finally allow us to breathe again. Glad you like that clip. Now, please ring the bell, subscribe, get all the notifications. Check out, I got this great new video where we were at Washburn University and I, I actually ended up sitting down with the gal who organized a protest against me. Really, really surprising exchange. Go check it out. We'll see you next time.